Hello from Longchamp, where it is the end of the Saturday of Arc Weekend. Joining me to discuss today's action is Lee Modishead. Lee, it's a fantastic aperitif. It's a more than worthy aperitif for tomorrow's action. Yep. Um, and on a day and tomorrow when we were imagining Frankie de Tori might make some headlines, he made some headlines today too. Yeah, I mean, the, the great wish tomorrow is that Frankie de Tori, on a John Gosden trained winner of the Oaks, is the star of the show. And that, as you say, was what happened today with Anna Perna bouncing back to her Epsom form under a typically flawless um, front running ride by Frankie de Tori, who got everything right in the first running of the Prix de Wallier as a Group 1 contest. It was upped in distance from our six furlongs and it perfectly played to the strengths of Annapurna. And it also highlighted the strength that John Gosden has got in his stable this year with Phillies. He had the first home in Annapurna, he had the third home uh, in Embihar and the fourth home in La Tidar. There wasn't much between any of them or the second Delphinia, but as I say, De Tori was excellent on Annapurna who looks like she might have run her final race. Um, she represents um, traditional owner breeders in Mion Valley Stud, who had some great families in the past, and they're quite keen that Annapurna now joins that family um, breeding operation. So we might want to see the back of her, or the end of her racing career. That sounds rather nice. She's a, not want to see the back of her. She's been a super horse. Um, and if that is the case, she goes out on a high. And if the Prix de Royal O was a, a race that somewhat went to script, yep. uh, the Prix de Cadran, the other Group 1 on today's yep. card, didn't quite because we thought DXB might land his first Group 1. Yeah, and he's had such, um, such bad misfortune in constantly going up against Stradivarius, the seemingly unbeatable Stradivarius this year. This looked a golden opportunity because the Cadran is never the strongest Group 1 in the calendar and it looked his for the taking, but he couldn't take it. Uh, in the end, the race went to old Tazzy Green who last year finished second to Call the Wind. This year those places were reversed and old Tazzy Green beat Call the Wind uh, into first place. And uh, yeah, for him it was a great conversation for 12 months ago, but for the DXB camp, it's another frustrating afternoon at work. Uh, and another impressive performance earlier in the day was the Revenant. That was, that was really quite something. Yeah, the Revenant was really impressive uh, in the pre-Daniel Wildenstein. He hadn't run since late May but he has been a prolific winner um, for his connections and he was impressive. He won by a wide margin. Connections now thinking about going for the QE2, which is perfectly reasonable thinking off the back of that. We know he's going to handle the ground, but it's going to be soft as it, isn't it? Um, so he was impressive and so too was Technician, um, mm. another British winner in the pre show now. He powered home for the Martin Mead camp, setting up a possible tilt at the French St. Ledger, the pre royal Oak, of course he disappointed in our St. Ledger. He loves this mud. <laughs> and the mud also wasn't a problem to the day's first British winner, Into Faith, who represents David Moinizier, um, now based in Pauvre, obviously comes from France, was a, an assistant to Cricket Head uh, for a long time. He returned here today with a 22 to one shot in the valuable juvenile sales race, Into Faith. But Into Faith, won well um, for his syndicate ownership and for David who was delighted uh, but did make the point when it was when it was put to him you know you're a you're now a Frenchman training in England back in France you know where do your loyalties lie and he said well I can tell you now I would never support the England rugby team over <laughs> France and with rugby in our minds at the moment that's worth bearing in mind. It is. I, I nearly ran him over this morning actually. Did you really? Yes I was, I was sort of obviously getting used to the French roads yes. on my way into Longchamp this morning and uh, someone sort of almost stepped out in front of me. Yes. It was David Monroe, was it? Really? Yeah. I thought that would have been bad wouldn't it? That would have been awfully yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. I mean it would have taken this, 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 this discussion into a completely different direction mm. so thankfully you did not. No that's very mm. fortunate. Yes. Anyway it's been a fantastic day's action here. Much to look forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow is, of course, the Enable Show. Can't you do it, Lee? Of course you can. It's going to be hard work, though. The ground is, I mean, we've had showers. We're talking now sort of 10 to 7 Paris time in the evening. We've had a fair few heavy showers this evening, probably more to come. It's going to be like an attritional arc, but she does handle soft ground, and she'll need to. Best of luck to all involved with those arc runners tomorrow.